Let us all draw our minds in. Let us all stand. We go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. While we're praying, please let's continue to pray for Bishop Morrison. Amen. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests? You make them known by the raise of your hand. God, we acknowledge us all by our heads in prayer. Well, Heavenly Father, once again, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for this privilege, Lord, for coming for your throne of grace. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the word we heard from this morning. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the word we have got to receive. And Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, all that you're going to do. And Lord, I want to ask, Lord Jesus, you look upon all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you. Touch and move in each and every way according to your will. And Lord, we can so help to give your name, the praise, and the honor. Jesus said we pray. Amen, amen. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
brunch. Uh, breakfast brunch. Yes. So please, all brothers, please prepare your hearts to uh, to uh, serve breakfast for all the mothers and show our appreciation. Mr. Allen, please. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing. Thank you, Lord, for your favor and opportunity. And we ask you to bless this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give what you give. God 
hears your prayer. Amen. 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 I want to say I want to thank the Lord for all that all He has done for us throughout this Sunday morning, throughout this Sunday service, yeah. and what He's going to do for us tonight. That's right. So, Saints, I ask you to pray your hearts, for, uh, to pray your hearts, to receive the word through the uh, ministry of uh, Pastor Chuck Allen Sr. Mm -hmm. as the choir comes with the last song selection.
is still moving. Right. 
They are meant to develop us and to bring us to a place of appreciation for the faithfulness yeah. of our God. Amen. And so it is important that we do right even if right is not being done to us. Yeah. Amen. As a child of God, we don't live like the world. Amen. With the mentality that you scratch my back. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are called to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And the Bible says that in due time, he will exalt us. As children of God, we're not pushing and posturing ourselves to be the one recognized or the one who is called the favorite. Right. The Bible tells us that if we do things for the recognition of man, therein lies your reward. Right. I've come to the conclusion why I settle for what limited people can give me when I can set myself up to, re to the rewards from the Father which is in heaven. Somebody said amen. amen. Praise God. I'm trying to just get through this. Amen, and I trust the Lord will help us. I'm not so sure, though, that if we can overdo the reality of suffering. All right. Israel doesn't realize that the reason they found themselves under the bondage of other nations was because that was the wages they earned. All right. Amen. Right. Just like you and I understand that the promises of the blessings and the favor of God are true. So is. So it is that of the attitude and the behavior of sin. Right. Help me, Lord. The wages, the Bible said, of sin death. is death. Yes. And some may think that it's the judgment of God or the devil is just so busy. Amen. Sometimes we are sickly because we are simply unhealthy. Amen. Amen. High blood pressure did not just show up. It was the result, help me, Lord. Come on. Yeah. Of unhealthy eating. Mm. Yeah. The wages of sin. Yeah. One thing you and I can rest in is that what God said in his word will come to pass. Yeah. Yes. Would you clap your hands and thank the Lord for that? <laughs> Praise God. Just like he will visit the iniquities of the father upon the third and fourth generation. We can live in such a way that the third and the fourth generations are blessed. Amen. Yeah. I know the devil likes to think that he's running something. How many know he ain't running nothing? I wish I had help here tonight. He said, how many know he ain't running nothing? Yeah. And we used to hear that old saying, you ain't running nothing but your mouth. I wish I had help. Yeah. Come on, how many of you heard that before? How many of you said that before? You, you ain't running nothing but your mouth. And that's the truth. The enemy ain't running nothing but his mouth. Praise God. The problem is there are times where people actually believe in the words that is coming out of his mouth. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, somebody, tell the devil you are a liar and you are headed to hell. Hallelujah. And guess what? I'm not going with you. I wish I had about three or four of you. Amen. They told the devil tonight you're going by yourself. Hallelujah. I know misery love company, but I'm not going to be in the same company with you. Hallelujah. Amen. I got too much to lose. Hallelujah. Amen. I got something good that's going on on the inside. Come on. I'm not going to be miserable because that is what you want. Hallelujah. Come on. The Lord has been too good for me. Hallelujah. To me. Come on. Would you get happy here tonight? Clap your hands if you got a God that has been good to you. You got a reason to shout. You got a reason to dance. You got a reason to be excited. Come on. Get your head up. Make no sense in walking around and being miserable with the enemy. Come on. He's good to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's so good. Clap your hands one more time. Amen. I think we have to come to 
grips to, uh, with, with our reality. I choose to either live for God or do things my way. Mm. I choose to walk in the spirit or to submit to carnal desires. Man, it's a choice that I make. Once we discover this reality, then we can turn from our wicked ways. Second Chronicles chapter number 7 and verse number 14 reads like this. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Yes, he does hear us, doesn't he? And will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Hallelujah. I mean, you know, if you put something in the ground, the Lord said, I'm going to make sure it'll come up. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He said, now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Somebody shout this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're in the house where people are turning away from their sins. We're in a house where people are turned away from their wicked ways. Hallelujah. Come on. God has to answer because that is what he said in his word. Hallelujah. Come on, God. You've got to hear and you've got to answer because yeah. you said it, Lord, that if I would turn, that if I would seek your face, that if I would pray, that you would hear my prayer and you would heal my land. Come on. Anybody want the Lord to your money. Anybody want to know the Lord to touch what you put in the ground? Anybody come on, we've got to do what the word of the Lord is telling us in order for us to be a people that is fruitful. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. So we got to get real. Yeah. Somebody say get real. Get real. This is not the time to sit back and put it on cruise control. And be satisfied where you are in your walk with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time to turn up the heat. How many know that the snake don't like fire? Oh, hallelujah. Come on. How many know that the snake doesn't like fire? Come on. He doesn't mind if you keep him cool. He don't mind if you keep him cozy. He don't mind if you keep him satisfied. But when you get crazy and when you get on fire, come on. That snake's out. Get out of here. Anybody want the devil on the run? If you want to come on, raise up a fanatic in the house that doesn't care about what anybody says. Because I'm going to get up and get, give God praise. I'm going to magnify the Lord. I'm not going to stay cool, calm, and collective. I'm going to give God some glory tonight. Yeah. Oh, come on, all of you. If you can stand in this house, why don't you turn? Heat up uh, just a little bit. Put your hands together and lift your voice. Uh, come on, turn the heat up uh, just a little bit. Uh, hallelujah. Turn it up. Uh, just turn it up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It's time to turn the heat up. Yeah. Rebuild the altar. The prayer. Rebuild family devotion. Man, set some time out to pray and fast. Because there's coming a time when God will visit us with a great restoration and a revival of soul. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd get more excited about that. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, amen. Because that means shared responsibility. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For more people. As our bishop has declared, there will be a multinational, multicultural, multigenerational. I wish I had help. Come on. We want people that look different. We want people that talk different. We want people that talk different generations. Uh, come on, hallelujah. Amen. That is the will of God. Uh, hallelujah for the house. Uh, 
to be full of hungry people. Amen. That might sing and praise in Chinese. That might sing and I wish I had help. Amen. In the Indian language. Come on. It is the will of God for there to be more in the house of God. We need young people in the house of God. Give God praise. We need children in the house of God. Give God praise. I wish there was somebody that would believe that God is ready to do that now. Yes. Right now. Is this all right? Yes. In order for this to happen, to get somebody to say, you got to make room. You got to make room. Yeah. Can they sit on your seat? Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Can you share your seat? Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, we can't be territorial. That's right. Amen. Amen. A place where people can plug in. Yeah. Amen. And learn the spirit of new birth. Yes. And become a vibrant and powerful community of young and old. Saints of God. It's the will of God. I said it's the will of God. Amen. This is why sometimes you and I suffer. Because God is trying to give birth to another generation. God is trying to give birth. Amen. To somebody else to come into the house of the Lord and do what you do. When you get excited, you lift your hands. When you get excited, you tap your hands. Come on, God. You see them rocks? Yes. I remember when Joshua told us to put the rocks in the, in, in the river. You see them rocks? That's when we were delivered over the Jordan. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. He's looking for somebody to say, you remember? Right there. It was 1979. And God filled me with the power. You remember right there. It was there I put the cigarettes down. It was there I quit drinking. It was there I quit smoking. Come on. You remember? Hey, you see them rocks? Hallelujah. It was there God delivered me. Come on. The next generation needs to know that you do serve a deliverer. And we got memorials in these altars of people. Maybe you believe that. Well, the Bible 
said that the just mm -hmm. uh -huh, shall live by faith. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Yes. I come tonight just to preach a simple word. Yes. Have a little faith. Mm -hmm. Have just a little faith. Mm. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. You won't be there long. Mm. You're not going to be there long. Uh -huh. How long? Uh -huh. How long? That's right. I said wherever you are. You not gonna be there. Oh hallelujah! Come on, the end is in sight. Hallelujah! There is a divine timeline. Hallelujah! There is something linked on the heaven's calendar that says not too long, not many days hence. Come on, you coming out, and it's coming real soon. If you believe it, would you one more time? Yeah. Amen. You say you, 
You ain't, you, you, you ain't in the offices with them. I don't have to let run across them in the store. Try it. Try it. Yes, that's true. That's true. I want to straighten up a lawyer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. We know they need the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 I'm just preaching about earthly riches. I'm talking about kingdom responsible people. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to run with the vision. Yeah. Yes. This ain't a new vision. This is the vision of our bishop. Yeah. Right. That's, that's his heartbeat. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everybody needs the gospel. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. This ain't a new day. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Nope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Run with the vision. <laughs> Somebody needs to believe the vision. Yeah. Yes. Sunday school lesson, one thing was brought out was if we believed that he had a million dollars in that car, mm -hmm. the sister said, I'm, I'm running out to the car. Right. 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 He was correlating to if we believe the word of God, something will happen. Something will happen. You'll respond. You'll respond. If you believe the word of God, you right. will respond. Yeah. 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 Because faith carries with it works. Those people that say, oh, you don't, you ain't saved by your words, stop it. Preach. <laughs> if you don't get in the water of baptism, you won't be saved. That's right. 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 That's a work. That's right. That's right. That's right. I believe that when I get in there, my sins are going to be washed away. That's what the Bible says. That's, right. that's what that's the work God created. I got to do what God said. Faith and works come together. You don't have no work, it's dead. Yeah. Right. Come on, right. people that tell you all you got to do is simply believe they're alive. Yeah. Yeah. You right. got to have faith, and faith causes you to react or respond. Yeah. That's why I don't see, see how some people just sit in church. Mm. Come on. I'm serious. I, I don't understand it. Something causes me to move. Something causes me to respond. I got faith that's going on on the inside. And I believe what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, clap your hands one more time. I'm trying to have a hold on one more thing. How long? How long will we live beneath our abilities? Hmm. Come on, preacher. Prophets in that time was not always with the people because they were in a place of prayer and meditation yeah. trying to hear what the Lord would say to the people. This prophetic stuff in the Bible wasn't used to hustle people. All right. Right. All right. It wasn't used to build churches. Right. <laughs> to make good money in their pockets. Fly big planes Preach. and scream, prophesy. <laughs> Get out of YouTube. Go ahead. Come on now. Yeah. Somebody help me now. Yeah. All right, all right. The Bible says that he gave you a pastor yeah. according to his heart. Yeah. Why are we always running to YouTube to hear somebody else say something that sometimes ain't even in the scripture? They just trying to get you to sow a seed into their ministry. Get out of that perverted stuff and come to the house of God and worship the Lord and hear a word from God. Yes. 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 Come on. Oh, somebody help me. Oh, yeah. These prophets rose with urgency hmm. and a sense of awe as they brought to the light what God spoke to them, amen, in private. If you want to find the word of God, Come on. oh, I, I got so many names coming through my head, but I won't call names. No. Come on now. Mm, he gave us a sure word. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. We we also have a more sure word mm -hmm. of prophecy. Mm -hmm. right. Word number two. 
ye do well mm -hmm. that ye take heed. Right. Yes. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn, until the day star arise in your heart. Amen. Somebody pick up the word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Shout it. Pick up the word of God. Pick up the word of God. Amen. Find, amen, you a place to pray. Yeah. And take notes. Yeah. Yeah. God wants to talk to us. Right. Yes, he does. Right. And he don't need Bishop so and so. What do you call him? Light bulb? Bishop yeah. Lightbulb. He don't need Bishop Lightbulb. That's right. And the guy that try to act like he got all the gifts. Oh, I'm going to And the guy that, that wants to tell you your address. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And somebody whispered to him before they came to church and they told him where to sit. Right. right. Yeah. And I also tell you that the devil knows sometimes some addresses. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I do. Come on. Amen. Just because they can relate to you doesn't mean it is apostolic true. The yeah. devil knows how to stroke your emotions and your feet. I wish I had help this house tonight. He knows he meant how to play tricks. Come on. But he ain't playing tricks on this old I wish I had help. Come on somebody. We believe in the word of God and we know that it's right. Amen. Yeah. That's why we ought to study. Amen. This, this book ain't changed in this pulpit. In another language. And we're interpreting it to you. No. God made it available for everybody to get a hold of the word of God so they can study. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, God wants to talk to us. Yes. yes. I'm trying to hurry up. If, if you just read a verse or two, it'll bless you. Mm -hmm. But if you would really spend time with the word of God, studying, meditating, praying, then you can run with the vision. Mm. Hallelujah. You won't have to deal with the pulpit manipulator All right. mm. All right. on Come YouTube. On. Mm. All right. Or the internet. All right. This is important. The reason yeah. why it's important because more and more people are on the internet and on YouTube trying to get a word from God. Amen. You can check me out if you want Facebook. Hallelujah. But tonight, amen, we exposing that enemy tonight. Amen. We have a, a sure word. Somebody shout sure word. Sure, sure word. word. Amen. The Bible tells us that God is not the author of confusion. Yeah, I'm afraid. That's right. Mm. And I believe that we can be a part of creating confusion. If we seek to satisfy our fleshly desires. Right. We naturally tend to gravitate to what sounds good and somewhat is somewhat relatable. Instead of gravitating to what we need. Mm. We must recognize the need over the one. Amen. Mm. How many know I need to be saved? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I need the favor of God. Yeah. I need the anointing of God. Yes. I need to walk with God. Yeah. The word of God is a plain vision. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is legible. Understand. And you read it casually, it will do you little good. Mm. But then you if you read it from a simple devotional standpoint, you'll get more out of it. But if you jump and swim in it, oh my goodness. The joys of the revelation of the word of God. Would you stand? There are things that have been said from God's time. To yeah. Sometimes they call for certain conditions to take place before rain. Right, right. But there are other times where behind the scenes, God's moving pieces yeah. to accommodate what he intends to do. Yes. The scripture says to to wait for it. Yeah. Wait for it. It might seem like it's taking long, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Don't get impatient. Amen. Think about it. Just keep keep doing the right thing. Right. Yep. Amen. You know, I think Bishop actually talked to that a couple of weeks ago. Just keep on going through it. Galatians 6 and 9. Let us not be weary and well done. For in due season we shall reach. If we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, mm -hmm. especially unto them who are of the household of faith. We have a mandate to treat each other right. That's right. That's right. Hold on to the words God gave you. I hope tonight that somebody would run with the vision. Come on now. You know it won't come too soon, but it won't come too late. Right. Amen. It's going to come at the right time. That's right. Very shortly, it'll show up. Oh, yeah. You're not going to be here too long. It's coming. Yeah. Coming. Amen. So our job is to prepare. Find a place day by day. Pray and believe the Lord. Yes. Start with writing down realistically what you want to see God do in the next six months. Yeah. Hmm. Seriously. What is it that you would like to see the Lord? Yeah. In the next six months. Start writing that down. Go on to the Lord in prayer. Seek it. Say, hey, God, help me to understand what, where, where are we at here. What should happen? What do we need to accomplish? Yes. In six months, write it down. And pray it every day. Because you're, you're, you're making the vision clear so you can run with it. Yeah. The name Habakkuk actually means to embrace. Yeah. We got to embrace the visions that God gave us through the Word of God, the stuff that He's made plain to us. There is something happening all the time. And I'm a believer of this. In every church service, somebody is getting saved. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In every service. Every service. Somebody yeah. is getting saved. Right. Come on. Amen. They may not be lifting their hands and talking in tongues that service, but they're getting saved from something. Yeah. yeah. Amen. In every service, I believe that somebody is getting delivered. I can see it. It's being made plain. It's the will of God. How many of you want to believe that here tonight? Amen. God is going to do something in every service. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. It's the will of God. Hallelujah. And I would, amen, I don't know, amen, what you want the Lord to do. Amen. However he spoke to you personally tonight. Amen. I, let's embrace it tonight. Amen. And we embrace it by making our way perhaps to the altar tonight. Jesus. With these hands. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, man. I'm embracing it tonight. Jesus' name. I'm embracing it tonight. Jesus' name. I'm Jesus name. It tonight. I'm Jesus name. Can see I God doing so many things. Yes. Jesus' name. For me, for you, 